Welcome to CG Dive. This is the fourth video about using Mixamo and Blender together. We are working with the Mixamo add-on for Blender, which easily creates user-friendly control rigs for us. So be sure to check out the previous videos. And in this one, I'll cover the most popular question that I got, and that is how do I attach a face rig to the Mixamo rig. I'm going to show you how you can attach a Rigify face rig to the rig generated by the Mixamo add-on. So let's get going. Here I have good old Sintel. And you can easily download her from BlendSwap. I did some slight uh, changes to the model, but I think most of you will be trying to rig your own character. So I think we should focus on the principles first. I've split her into multiple objects. And that is something that you may want to do if you're working on your own character. So the main body is one mesh and I may actually want to join the boots as well. Just control J and then if I hide this, I can see the other parts. And here I have the eyes, which have their origin point placed right in the center. I have upper teeth, lower teeth, and a tongue object. And hair, which is a very simple uh, polygon hair that I created. It could be much better, but that's not the point. So let's keep going. So I'll unhide my character. And here you can see that if I rotate this eye, um, it will stay within the eye socket. And that will help us with uh, face rigging. So if you're working on your own model, I would recommend that you have something like this. Each eye is a separate object and you can rotate the eyes without getting weird intersection with the head model. Okay, that's it about model preparation. So now I can export uh, an FBX. I want to export everything that I have in this scene. So I'll just go to file, export FBX. And I'm going to use the default options. If you want to limit what is being exported, you can select your objects that you want to export and use the selected objects only checkbox. But in this case, I don't need it. So I'll simply export my FBX. Okay, let's go to Mixamo and upload a character. I'm going to drag my FBX file over here and rig my character with the Mixamo tools. I've shown this before, so let's do it really quickly. Next. And here we have the test animation. It's looking good. I'm going to confirm that I want to change the character. And as I explained in the previous videos, don't worry that the textures are not displayed and that you may be seeing some glitches in the display of the character. I'm going to apply an animation to my character and export. How about this one? Download with the default settings. Okay, I'm going to go back to Blender, file import FPX, and here's the file that I downloaded. I'll import it with the default settings. And in this case, my character was imported with almost perfect textures, but that may not be the case for you. So I showed how to fix this in the previous video. I'm going to quickly show it again. First, I'm going to create a new collection to place these new imported objects that I got. And then I'll simply delete my uh, initial objects. Okay. And now I'll select each of the objects, go to the material tab, and I'm going to switch this 001 material with the original one. Same for the eyes and the other objects. Okay, so that's the material setup. Next, I'm going to select the armature, go to the Mixamo tab, zero out my rig that will delete the animation, but that's okay. And I'm going to create my control rig. And that is the control rig process. Now let's see how we can add a rigify face rig to this Mixamo control rig. It is really not difficult. You just need to keep in mind some rules and principles. So now we want to add a rigify face rig to our scene. Um, and if you are a fan of CG dive, you'll probably know how I would do it. I would add a single bone and then go to edit mode, delete the single bone, go to the armature tab in edit mode 
and here I'll search for face. Uh, because I'm using Blender 3, I have new face rig types, which I'll try to cover in the future. But um, regardless of your Blender version, uh, you will have a super face. So I'm going to add a, a sample and that will be my face rig. And then I can match it to the face and, and then start aligning it to the character. Um, and I'm going to do this but I know that a lot of you will just add a human meta rig and then delete the bones that you don't need. So I'm also going to do it this way just to make sure that I show you which bones you should delete and which you should keep. So let's press slash to isolate this meta rig and go to edit mode and delete all of these bones above the neck. Okay, now we are left with the face neck and head. So I'm going to hover over the neck bone and press L and that will select the neck and the head. Then I'll press delete and delete the bones. And this is what you need to leave. So next we are going to start aligning these bones to the face of our character. And especially if you're using Blender 3, make sure that you watch uh, the end of this process because there is something special that you need to do in Blender 3. It may be a bug actually. Um, anyway, I'll show it to you at the end. So I'll go out of local mode and make sure that I'm in edit mode and then I'll align these face bones to the face, uh, to the face of my character. I'm going to switch to bounding box so that I can move the whole uh, face as one unit. Okay, and that is the basic alignment. Uh, next, I'm actually going to hide stuff that I don't need so that it is easier to align the bones. I'm going to hide the hair. And other than that, we are ready to go. So let's go back to the rig and go to edit mode. And I have a dedicated video about the face rig. Uh, if you've watched it, you know that I like to start uh, from the side view. Let's turn on in front. Oh, and I forgot to turn on x-axis mirror that will save us a lot of time so let's turn it on and now i only need to align one one side of the rig and the other will be aligned automatically like this once i'm done with the basic alignment from the side view i can switch to um, face snapping and now if i just select some of my joints and move them and hold control that will snap them to the surface of my character. At this point, you may like to turn off in front. It may actually make your work easier. The main face joints are starting to look okay. So let's go to object mode, hide the head, and now I'll focus on the eyes, teeth, and tongue. So for the eyes, I have the origin point just when I want it. So I'll select one eye, press shift S, cursor to select it, then go to the rig, edit mode, select the eye bone, shift S, selection to cursor, Turn on in front to see it better. And uh, with individual origins, I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Okay, and this position should be good. Uh, then we have, have the upper teeth bone. Just align it roughly with the upper teeth. And that is the lower teeth bone. Now I want to hide the teeth quickly. These are the tongue bones. So let's align them with the tongue that we have. You can hide some bones if they're getting in the way. And then unhide them. I'm not quite sure why, but I think the eye bone didn't quite snap to where I wanted to. So let's do it again. Select the eye bone, shift S, selection to cursor. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Now we can generate this rig. 
and if you're using Blender 2.93 or earlier, then you're good to go. But if you're using Blender 3, there is something that you need to know. I think it's a bug actually. Um, so in Blender 3, we have an updated face rig and to get access to it, you just use the normal super face and you press the upgrade face rig button. And actually let's undo and do it again. And you'll see that there were some slight changes, uh, some additional bones to the rig. And now if I just generate this rig, you'll see if you're familiar with the rig that uh, something seem to be, seems to be missing. So I'm going to undo and let's isolate the meta rig. Sorry, just the meta rig. And here's what I found out. It seems that this new face rig needs a parent in order to generate correctly. I don't know why and I think it's a bug because it doesn't make sense to behave like this. So the easiest thing that you can do is go to pose mode, select this face bone, which doesn't really have a function, it's just the parent of all of the other face bones, and go to the bone tab and give it a rig type like super copy. And you can actually disable control that will make it uh, simpler. Now you can generate the rig and you'll see that it is properly generated now. So I'll hide the meta rig. And next we can focus on combining this face rig with the Miximo control rig. And here is probably the most important thing that uh, you have to do. You will have to join your face rig and your body rig into a single armature. So a lot of people ask me about this and I saw this over and over again. People trying to bind the character to two separate rigs. And this almost never works. Unless you really, really know what you're doing, always have your rig as a single armature. Before we join the rigs, let's make sure that we understand them. Um, I'll go to object mode. And the Miximo rig has the controls on the first layer and the deforming bones on the second layer. Okay. The Rigify face rig has main controls on the first layer, secondary controls on the second layer, and even finer controls on the third layer. So I'll go to pose mode, select all of these controls on the third layer and I'm going to move them here on the bottom layer and then go to the second layer, select everything and move them to this layer. Okay, then Rigify has the deforming bones always on this layer over here. So I'm going to enable it, select everything and move them to layer two so that they're on the same layer as the Miximo deforming bones. And the remaining layers here you, you can leave alone. Let's unhide our main layer now, go to object mode, have the face rig selected, then shift select the Miximo control rig and press control J. Okay, the next steps are quite important. First, we need to make sure that the new face bones move together with the head, and then we need to make the deforming bones actually deform the mesh. So um, let's isolate the rig and go to the very last layer that we have. These are the bones that we inherited from Rigify, and these are the so-called ORG bones. Let's go to edit mode, select the ORG face bone, the parent of all of the other bones, and then shift click on the layer with the deformation bones, shift and select the head bone, and press Ctrl P, keep offset. Okay, let's go out of local mode and enable our controls. And now if I move the head, you'll see that the face controls move with it. So step one was successful, but now these controls that we have uh, just stand there and they don't do anything. That is because they move the deformation bones, but the deformation bones do not affect the mesh. So given this situation, here is the best way, in my opinion, in which you can add these deforming bones. Display only the deforming bones and maybe isolate the rig. Select all face bones and the head bone as well. You could select the neck bone as well, but I'm going to deselect it. Okay, then go out of local mode and back to object mode. Then select the mesh. Again, local mode, go to edit mode, and then make sure that um, X-ray is enabled and select all vertices of the face. And a little bit, maybe half of the neck. Okay, everything is selected. Now go back to object mode. In object mode, select the rig, 
shift select the mesh, go to weight paint mode. And again, I can enable uh, X-ray. And you'll see that the bone selection that I did is still active. And then I can also press this button to enable the vertex selection. And that will also enable the vertex selection that I did earlier. So now I can just go to weights, assign automatic from bones. And that will basically do automatic weighting, but only for the bones that I have selected. And also because I have vertices selected, it will limit this process to the selected vertices. And that's very important because otherwise, since the other bones are not selected, these uh, face bones may affect the shoulder, for example, which we don't want. Okay, so now I'll disable the vertex selection. And for good measure, I'm going to go to weights and normalize all because this process of uh, adding new bones may mess up some of the weighting, but with normalize all, it should all be fixed. So now we are almost there actually. I'm going to select the rig, enable my uh, controls. And now if I rotate the head, it moves the whole head. If I try this um, jaw widget, for example, it will open the mouth, eyes. The eye control will deform the eyelids, but not the eyes. And that is because we haven't parented the eyes yet. Uh, so in a nutshell, things are already working. So we need to take care of binding the other face meshes and everything will be set. So I'm going to hide this um, main mesh now to focus on the other areas. And I'm going to select this eye, for example. And it's currently controlled by the head. I don't want that. I want it to be controlled by the eye. So I'm going to delete this uh, vertex group, add a new one, call it def-i.l. Go to edit mode, select all vertices and press assign. And now, and now we'll see that this eye is moving with the rig. And now I have to do the same for the other eye, for the teeth and for the tongue. If you don't know the names of the deforming bones, you can go to this layer and just select the bone. Blender 3 generates a bunch of eye bones, but the, ones you but the one you want is defi.r. For the teeth, you have upper teeth, defteeth.t, and the lower teeth are defteeth.b. Okay, so these are the name of the vertex groups that you want to create. So I'll go to the eye and assign teeth. And for the tongue, I'll actually again assign from bones. So I'll hide the teeth. Select the armature, shift select the tongue, go to weight paint mode and select these tongue bones. And then go to weights, assign automatic from bones. Now, if we unhide everything and go to the armature, unhide the controls, everything should be working. I can move the head. I can control the eyes, I can open the jaw, I needed to get rid of some of the vertex groups for the tongue, um, but anyway, back to the rig, here are more controls, I should be able to close the eye. The eye always needs a little bit of weight painting to work well, but that is not too bad for simple automatic weights. So there you have it. This is a working Miximo control rig combined with a working Rigify face rig. There are a few little things to keep in mind. If I go to pose mode and select the jaw, on the properties you'll find the mouth lock option. If you enable it, uh, this will create a slightly different behavior for the mouth. It won't open even when I move the jaw. So that can be used to animate chewing, for example. 
there is another setting uh, for the eyes. There is a parent switch and by default, the eyes move with the head. If I change this parent switch to one, the eye control will become independent of the movement of the head and that allows you to fix the eyes on an object while the character is actually moving the head. In a proper Rigify rig, you will have these settings in a nice menu, but because we combined this face rig with the Mixima control rig, we lost this menu. However, the settings are still here, so I'm going to bring them back to default. I'm just quickly going to show you that you can still retarget Miximo animations to this rig, even though we attached the face to it. Um, so if I just import an FBX, like this animation that I uh, downloaded at the start, I can actually delete all of the meshes uh, and then select the control rig, go to Miximo tab, choose my source skeleton and apply animation to control rig. And there we are, um, our animation is working. And uh, if I and if I try to control the face, it is going to be working as well. And that is the process of adding a Rigify face to a Miximo rig. One thing to note is that the Rigify face is not game friendly. So if you want to export this to a game engine, then you'll have to use a game ready workflow. I have a whole playlist about that and also we have an add-on uh, called Game Rig Tools, uh, so check them out. And I was also thinking of showing how to create your own simple and game-friendly face rig that you can add to Mixamo, but that would make the video very, very long. So I'll make that a separate tutorial that will be coming soon. Speaking of which, if you want to get some of my unreleased tutorials, check out the CG Dive membership on Gumroad or Patreon. I recommend Gumroad because it allows video streaming and other good stuff. But yeah, you can get my videos there early and you'll be supporting the channel. Big thanks to all members for their support. And you know the drill, like, subscribe, and I hope you tune in next time.